even sure, but I can't imagine that this matchup is easy for Wario. Yeah, the big challenge is just being able to contend with Pikachu's boxing because a lot of Pikachu's moves just last so long compared to Wario's that it's hard to be able to time the moves just right in order to squeeze your way in. Yeah, for sure. And one of Wario's main combo starters is going to be he's going to be looking for that up air and I just don't see how you can consistently land an up air. Shiny Mark trying to start out with the bold thunder to kill him real early. Yeah, and these thunder jolts just giving him openings to keep these combos going as well. Shiny Mark thinking that you can't get wafted if I don't give you enough time to survive to get it. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> so Best way to stop wafted is the speed run. 53%, but now they're just sitting in neutral. Curious to see what combos um, Haven's going to be able to come up with on this Pikachu, though, because of the small body. Yeah, the big challenge, though, is just stopping him from being able to move around so much. Yeah, see right there, the Nair is not going to connect, but he is going to get the chomp earlier. Shiny Mark taking a commanding lead in this first stock. Yeah, and just really doing a good job of abusing Pikachu's combo game. But the fight coming in, get a little bit of healing for Haven here. Oh, Haven doing a really good job of calling out, like when he's just going to sit and shield or even just stand those chomps. Yeah, that's the nice thing about fight. You can use it as a landing grab to mix up what you're doing. Oh, Hunter, though, oh, not going to oh, be enough. Oh, killing. I'm quite surprised. I expected that to take the stock right there, but Wario proving too heavy. Yeah, that's the joy of having an all garlic diet. <laughs> So right here, it's looking about like this is honestly what Haven like wants to happen right now. Yeah, because it's like, you just gotta... about even percent wise as far as who's gonna get a kill. And with things yeah, slowing honestly... down, it gives more time for some waft. Oh, getting getting the drag down there. Didn't go for the up smash this time. Just looking for the grabs. S smart play by Shiny Mark. Yep. Getting the back of there. He's about one of those from death and already getting the. Full off before the first stock is even gone. Yeah, and that's going to be difficult for Shiny Mark to deal with. If each of these stocks is going to be taking this long. Yeah, if, if Haven can get the stock lead here, he's in a super good position. Yep. Oh, poor oh, Sultan. Getting the up throw. Good kill by Shiny Mark. Yep. However, I, I, don't, I don't think Haven should be worried at all, especially with the use of Lost and potentially just taking a stock off of one conversion. Yep, but the thing is, you don't want to let Pikachu get these combos like this. Look at these com- I love these combos from Shiny Mark, that's so cool to see. Oh, and hits him with the F-Smash afterwards, so really doing a good job racking up damage. Oh, getting the top of the up there. Oh, nice. That was awesome! Man, and that was a clean and quick stock. That was sweet! Uh, trying to see if he would jump out of shield right there, trying to back in the top of it. However, Shiny, Shiny Mark's combo game on this Wario is just looking too good. Yep. There we go, racking up another 40%, and it's still going here. Shiny, yeah, I mean, Shiny's Shiny got to find a way to stop the bleeding. Like oh, that. Shiny, Shiny, yeah. Get your opponent to SD. <laughs> so Haven, all he needs is about one opening here, get him about 30, 40%, and then up to walk. Yep. And then he's looking at an even game to see if he can bring it back against Shiny Mark, but I, I don't know. Shiny Mark, every he's doing really good at getting these Tomahawks when he's sitting healed. And yep. And the other problem is with this rage, it's going to be even... Nope, never mind. And then just the dare him. kills him. That's going to be a, dare I say, dominant game. One for Shiny Mark. Getting yeah. the almost just clean two stock. I mean... He was doing a good job, Haven was, of getting that damage early on, but the problem just came down to stopping Pikachu from jumping around so he could get the kill. Like, every time he got touched, Shiny Mark was just like, Nair drag down, into, again, yep. Nair drag down, up tilt, Nair drag down, you know, just back here, back here. Like, that punish game was disgusting last game. Yeah. Really good stuff to Shiny Mark. I'm honestly curious to see how Haven's going to adapt to that. Yeah, a big part of it is just figuring out how to take off the stocks because once he got him towards that kill percent he didn't really have a good way to confirm into that kill with all of the movement that Pikachu has okay and um, another thing that I noticed like right there for sure just 
Shiny Mark was so confident around Haven Shield. Like, he was just so yeah. consistent at calling it out. Yeah, I mean, anytime you can have that Thunder Jolt ahead of you as you're running in, it makes it so much more difficult for the opponent because really the only safe options are either to sit and shield and get hit by something or to try and roll past it, but the window on that can just feel so small. And then if you jump above Pikachu, you put yourself into disadvantage. Yeah. Pikachu sure is something, and Shiny Mark showing that he got this punish game down pronto. Yep. And especially, like, online when there's delays, really impressive yeah. to me it's I mean, super that's impressive thing right there because it feels like some of those combos would be a little bit harder to get the confirms for but we're oh, actually seeing we're gonna see a switch from wario to the olimar pick well this could definitely change things up because Interesting. Pikmin, I... the nice thing about the pikmin is if after they're thrown while they're still out they have a hitbox so they could be taking up some of those thunder jolt hits and take those out of the way and on top of that, he doesn't have to get anywhere close to Pikachu to rack up any damage. For sure, you can just throw Pikmin right there, and it doesn't it doesn't matter if Pikachu's small if the opening that Olimar gets is up smash, up smash, up air, like stuff like that, because it's going to hit him regardless. Yeah, and just like that, right off the bat, you saw that Pikmin throw just eat up the yep. control, but... Oh, using the upbeat to get out of the combo, that is interesting. Pikachu is still being too small. He's going to end up whiffing that up air and starting a combo. And the thing about Olimar compared to um, Wario is that Olimar, while he's going to have an easier time like extending his advantage state on to Pikachu, he's also going to be lighter. A lot lighter. Yeah, so that's going to be the thing that Haven's going to need to keep track of, just making sure he stays safe at those relatively lower percents. Yeah, I think the, what Haven is going to have to look out for is really those edge guarding situations where Olimar, if he gets touched once, he's just dead. Yep. But unfortunately, not getting the cloud sweet spot there on the down B. I like that, using the up B just to hover out of range of the ground punish there. And a great tech going to keep Haven alive as well. Already seeing like some smart stuff coming out of this Olimar. Sometimes it can be um, difficult to decide whether you want to switch off your main for secondary, but in this case, I'm, I'm honestly, I, I'm liking it. Yeah, I mean, he's able to keep up the damage from a distance without having to give up stage control. Oh, oh, oh I guarantee that was, that was probably turnaround grab, but it just unfortunately didn't come out. Yep. Oh, having the blue in hand, the only oh, picking the one killed trade? him he living lives. here is huge if he can make it back. Oh, um, oh, 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 he's gonna make it back. Very what a smart recovery. Man, Saying, I'm not scared of you. Fight. Yeah, he went into him, too. He... And then dash attack. <laughs> yeah, dash attack is gonna end up taking it. No way, Olimar's living that at 150. Yeah, this is not the Smash 4 Pikachu dash attack, that's for sure. Okay, so really just Pikmin toss T Jolt neutral until someone gets opened up right now. Oh, yep, getting the back. Go. How far is he going to extend this? This could lead to a kill. Oh, unfortunately, only getting 32% off of it, but we take those. Yep. Now Haven with a bit of stage control here. He looked for the roll-in, but did not get it in time for that move to hit it. I really like the down tilt two frame right there to try and, like, catch him slipping slash potentially get more damage on him. Yeah, it's a nice quick move that doesn't really put yourself into too much danger at the ledge like that against Pikachu. Yeah, right there, showcasing the advantage today that he has, that he says, I, I don't mind if you're that small with a hurt box, my Pikmin are still going to smack you. Yep. Get yeah, in the weak hit dash attack. Oh. Yeah, it feels like Haven's been able to dictate the pace of the match a bit more effectively as well, because he can use those Pikmin to pressure without needing to play the rushdown game Shiny Mark's been using. Yeah, I feel like Haven really has the pace, like, down, but it seems like Shiny Mark, even though um, it's Haven's pace, once he gets in, he's still able to just get so much damage off of it. But right now, it's looking like a good situation for Haven. Yep, gets the grab. Is that a blue one? It looks like oh, it was. That was so early. <laughs> yeah, that's the power of a blue throw. That's the power of Omar showing through. Look, Shiny Mark really needs to steal out, uh, seal out this stock here, which he's going to do with the go. forward air. What a smart forward air, because not only did it kill him, but it lingered, so it went through the Pikmin hitting Olimar. Yeah, and that is huge for Shiny Mark to be able to prevent him from being able to get more advantage, but 
Thunderjolt City happening right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Electing to not use his, or just wait for him to approach, but oh, no. he's fine with just sitting there and not approaching. Oh, could have potentially went for the jab reset, but reads attack and tries to go for the grab instead. Well, here we go. We're going to get some Thunder Loops going for a moment there until we get the up air city. And damage coming out for Shiny Mark right now. Yeah, this game is dead even, which is a lot more than we could say last game. The counter pick by oh. Haven working out way better in his favor. Yeah, there we go, Pikmin latching on. And that's one of the frustrating things about Pikmin, because in order to get them off you, you have to give up the neutral to your opponent, because you have to use an attack to get them off of you. So it's either let them stay on you and keep trying to outspace your opponent, or just back off and get them off you. Yeah. It really forces uh, Pikachu to react and have to do something about it, otherwise he just gets damage piled on him over and over. Yeah. So every time he lands a Pikmin, uh, Haven can be like, neutral just a little bit easier because now he has to worry about that c constant threat. But honestly, he has a purple in hand here and one hit from a purple, like one smash attack could be the game. Yeah, or even a back air at the left. Yeah, back air, up air at decently high in the sky. Yeah. There we go, both Pikmin latched onto him. So now only the purple left in the rotation. So blue oh, coming out at the right time. Yellow. Oh, good, Not great job by Shining Mark, barely living. Now he's got a purple in hand along with the Pikmin. This is a good lineup to have. Yep, now the white one's in the lineup as well. Is he gonna get the back airs? Now he can threaten grab, but he's gonna oh, get the no. in the up smash. Oh. Shining Mark's in front, taking the set to, oh. That was Blood nice. plays by Shiny Mark.